I. It is I. John underscore Silva underscore your favorite streamer. How you doing? Today, we have a question from Damien. And he says, uh, I hope this is a valid question. Okay, let me ask my question. Just ask the damn question, <laughs> Damien. Just, just ask it. I want to learn to do this type of painting and rendering, but I'm having trouble. So how do I get this type of stuff? <laughs> so first, I know you're saying in chat, sorry for keeping the the question away to open. Uh, how do I get this type of stuff? <laughs> how do you get it? It's a very different answer than how to how to achieve it. All right, how do you get it? Just pay the artist. All right, but I know what you mean. So I'm gonna brush through everything. Anytime I get a very open-ended question, I'll give an open-ended answer. Uh, it's just how we go. So actually in Riot um, hiring process, um, I can't say much because that's breaking things. But um, you, okay, so there's a couple of steps to achieve this point, right? I know you're talking about art style and all that, but I need to touch bases with the initial um, steps, which is thumbnails. You first start with a thumbnail. Now I'm gonna pretend here that, yeah, I'm gonna obviously take one of the characters. You know what, I'm just gonna, this occupies so much space. So I'm just gonna bleep blah bloop and take that there because we're gonna need that color in there. Make this bigger and easier for you guys to see. And there you go. Okay, so first thing you do is that silhouette is incredibly important. Um, actual character art versus um, in-game model model art slash 3D. Um, this one is painted, obviously, but uh, you want to once you make a 3D character, you kind of want to make sure that it reads the same, etc. But when you are in the concepting phase, this is a concept, um, and uh, specifically this type of. Um, like showing the character in the scene is usually for skin slash character concepts uh, uh, tests, art tests. So what you want to do first is pay attention. Here we go. You pay attention to the silhouette of your character. And you want to do a billion, a billion fucking, a billion fucking, Silhouettes and designs, right? I'm gonna only focus on this one, but this wouldn't be the only one you would see for sure. All right, so I'm just going to my nose is kind of weird. Um, okay, first thing that you want to focus on with the silhouette is its readability. That's why it's extremely important. Uh, uh, you do so, right? So that means that anytime you add like an arm, that arm at a very small scale needs to be uh, easily visible, especially for a game like League. Everything's so flashy. Like it's so it's so 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 easy to get, to lose track of what's happening. Um, therefore, your designs need to be and shapes need to be very simplified. So if you actually, I'm gonna stop the I'm gonna stop this for a second. So it's the difference between if you draw an arm and you draw that arm, it's like, fuck, this is an arm. And it's like, oh, it has all the muscles and all the veins and all the like little details and all of that, you know, and it's very soft and curvy and like, like subtle and, and like this does not work. That is not OK. What you want is a variation of that. And that's pretty much the art style. You want the variation of that simplified. So you, first of all, you want angles. Angles are incredibly important for this art style. Uh, so 
anytime something is round like this, you can have round shapes. It's I'm not here to say that that you can't have them. You can, but anytime you can give it a little edge, it just reads easier at a fast paced uh, in a in a fast paced game. It's 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 just how it works, right? So, um, you want your shapes to really really be like outlines um and like have a uh sorry there you, there you go have a really big con i'm doing the same arm in there have a really big contrast of shapes and it's not just to say the size of things uh per thing too but you want you know like maybe he this guy has like really big biceps you know and kind of like uh, thin uh, forearms kind of thing. I don't know. But um, yeah, you want to really sculpt the character, right? So this silhouette versus the other one is way, 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 way better for um, not just League, but any kind of like game like that. So let me erase that. That's the explanation. The, ba the very basics of it is you want... Like, for example, the, the character's hand are huge. They're just huge, right? And um, I'd say people another style that it's very good at this, I think some designs from League or even especially Osama, um, I think he takes a lot from uh, Pixar, Disney, that kind of stuff. Uh, anytime I see his... his art style, especially for um, League. I feel like he, he really gets influenced by that a lot. So here I'm just like focusing only on, once again, the silhouette. He's making sure that you, you simplify it and you only add detail slash, you only add uh, surface detail and intricacies in areas that are important, like I'd say um, joints, uh, head, hands, and feet are like big, 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 big ones. Um, so let me do like here that are really big, uh, important aspects of of uh, making something readable. Right and and showing what's the character's uh, archetype. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because you'll get the point, and that's what Silver Decodes is about. Is like decoding something until you get the point. The rest is just refinement and time spent on on the image. But uh, here we go. So for example, this is a good area. You have the shape of the uh, pants or shorts here, right? But then you have a really high contrast between the folds of the shorts versus the knee and the leg. Like this, this kind of contrast is really, 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 really important. Um, and it's not about like making a character realistic or not. It's just about readability, and that's your main focus here. And then you have the, the foot on this side as well, right? So you have that, uh, that, 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 there you go. And we have the silhouette of the character. I mean, well, there's still the, the ball here, right? But, all right, so this is the most important thing, the the outline, this the outer silhouette well, of course, I forgot the handle of of the thingy here. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Yeah, so the outline of the character should, um, should indicate a few things. It should indicate, first of all, uh, archetype. Is this how you type it? I guess. So... What kind of when you see the character in the corner of your eye or a character flashes in, you being able to tell what the character is and what what might be his job, um, 
just using the shapes here are incredibly important. Now, that's a long, uh, how, how do you, you know, what shapes are for we, what characters? That's a really long um, conversation to have. Um, you can ask me on another decodes. But uh, uh, for this guy, he looks like, he looks fragile. And he, 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 this character looks like he is the weapon he's carrying. You know what I mean? Um, he looks like a caster type based on the shapes, ba based on the contrasting shapes of his body versus um, the weapons. Obviously, the weapons seem very, like, they seem very dangerous, but, like, this ball here contrasts against all of these edgy shapes, and that makes it read like, like a caster, especially with the special effects, you know? Um, so I would consider him just on the first look uh, as, as a caster, you know? Um, he has this big weapon and this big thing on his back, and he's like just a scrawny, scrawny like little guy with big hands and feet that is just doing his best to not feed. Um, and um, and that initial like this is everything, honestly. This is literally everything. You might have even like cool designs, but if it doesn't read. It doesn't mean that your design isn't cool. It just means that your design isn't uh, doing its purpose, like for, for the game, right? Um, so a lot of times, some designs that people... Uh, how many times have you seen like a, develop, a, a developer show you like older designs of a character you like, and you're like, wait, why didn't they go with that other design? And chances are that it has a lot to do with with uh, readability and not readability from like a silhouette standpoint, but also from a who the character is standpoint, right? So it's not it's not what looks the coolest, the best. It's what fits the game and the character's personality best. Um, and that's what I would consider a successful like design for games it's to feel a purpose and and uh to fit the characters well character so once you're done figuring out the the silhouette now this step you can do it in multiple ways a lot of people like to um i'm gonna actually just erase that for now a lot of people like to start with silhouettes and then like draw on top the line art uh here we go Uh, I, I I think Osama likes to just go with line art first in his specific case, but I, I want to show you both ways, right? So uh, he'll go with the line art and do all of this cool stuff, right? Make the character look like really cool and all that, right? And um, and then from this point on, you might just have like the line art. And paint. So I'm gonna show you the painting process, I guess. Uh, let me do. Uh, I'll do the top part. So this is kind of like your question now, the art style. Uh, the art style already explained from the thumbnail point of view. It's exactly the same. Nothing really changes. I'm just gonna do here quick. Um, I'll do the the portrait area as far as art style goes and show you the uh, steps to achieve that kind of render. Um, so now it's just a matter of dun 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 blah 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 You just you just draw just draw the character forehead, they said. Just just draw the character, John. Hey, what's up, Crux? You are a sub. You got gifted the sub. Yes, by Vedas. Thank him. He's now your master. All right. So once you have some line art, he usually does that. Like he he likes to 
work a lot with line art and he's amazing and beautiful and strong and we all wish we were him. Um, so once you're done with that, I'm just going to do the portrait and the rest will apply as to not make this video really, really long. All right, so I'm gonna stop right here. So what do you do is, um, I'm actually just gonna lower down the opacity of the rest of the silhouette. Uh, once you have your line art done, you want to make a new layer and then fill in the flats underneath. So I'm just gonna grab a gray. I'm gonna outline so make it make a selection pretty much just I'm making a selection right now we'll just do that and once we have the selection I can apply the colors and I'll show you all the layers uh, that I'd be using to replicate this style all right that's good enough and let's Uh, let's fill it in. There you go. Okay, so I'll just do this area for you. So once you have a layer, what I do is... Um... Oh, uh, so you start... Actually, wait, before I explain that. This is an important step I almost forgot. You see these these colors here? Color scheme is extremely important in, in concept art overall, especially the more 2D, you know, cartoony uh, stuff. We love to um, have swatches of what makes up the character. So this is incredibly important. You can um, either begin to add the colors first and then do the little swatches, or you can do the opposite where um, you know what? I'm gonna do a chroma for this. That's probably like more interesting to watch, huh? Let's let me do it. So I like one. Let's make his skin blue. I'm gonna go with something kind of crazy. Let's make his skin blue. Wait, I'll just do everything blue. Um, his pants red. So let's do like a desaturate. So when you're picking colors. You want to keep two things in mind. Um, saturation and contrast. Um, and the very last thing, uh, well, actually those two things are pretty much it. The contrast concludes two things. Uh, what kind of colors are you picking? Are they contrasting each other? And also value contrast. So you always, but always want your most uh, saturated, your brightest colors, your you, the impact, you want the contrast to be on the top of the character. No one cares about the legs and everything else. Uh, especially for MOBAs, this is extremely, extremely important. So what I mean is this. Uh, I mean, I, me I meant what I said, but... Um, so the pants are kind of like at the bottom, so I want them to be desaturated. Uh, let's go with... Um, so my contrasting color will be the skin, which is blue. And if I did the rest of the uh, of the character, I would probably pick like yellow as well. Actually, let's add a little bit of, kind of like the idea of having yellow at the top. Um, and also, this could imply quantities to, to a client, right? So the, the shorter the square, the less of that color there is in the image. Um, so I kind of like just like doing that. Uh, no, actually this is fine. And then uh, let's go with a purple-ish dark. Uh, maybe for the hair and everything else. So it'll be like that. Okay, this is my own chroma. I'm making my own chroma right now. Um, and now that you have this, another thing you can do is... Uh, actually, let me go back. Uh, it's an extra extra step to this, but I would still advise people to do it or artists to do it, which is I'm making a new layer set to multiply and I'm 
gonna gradient it out. So I'm just kinda like gonna do, uh, that's a little too bland. I'm gonna add some color to this multiply. All right, so here's how you're, this is how you'd want your character to read, where the top is brighter, uh, more vibrant, uh, etc. And as it keeps going down, like towards the feet, etc., you want it darker, you want it, I'm gonna add like even that, you want it darker, less contrasty, just like more subtle, because it's always further away from us, from the player. Um, the the head the head and portrait should always or the torso upper torso anything above it should always be uh, having the highest contrast and um, in in value and color so I'm just gonna lower down the gradient there All right so this is my chroma my own chroma for this character um, and now we can go back and well I have the skin color which we decided is going to be blue. Right. Skin color. Blah, blah. Um, I know the arms have a different color. Uh, we're going to go with this. Or maybe that. Would that look good? Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Or even like, uh, there you go. Let's go. Let's go with this. Like he has like this thing is wrapped around his arms. We can use this contrasting uh, color. And now the hair. We decided to go with that. This Osama what? This is exactly what Osama said. Keep the bottom of the character desaturated because it's a place of least importance. Then why are you asking me? <laughs> For no I'm kidding. <laughs> so I, I'm glad you guys asked me these questions because uh, it's content. The man himself said it, which makes me also correct. All right. I'm actually gonna do his eyebrows too. Um, okay, that's pretty much all I'm gonna touch because this video is already getting long. Um, so once you have your 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 basic your flats in, uh, you can actually make a use out of the line art because most of the time, I mean, League of Legends kind of has an outline to it. At least if you have the setting uh, on. Uh, so what we're gonna do is. Give me a sec. Oh, I, I chose yellow, but I never drew the thing. It, you'd want the... Actually, maybe this kind of looks cool to have it on the shoulders. Yeah, I could... Oh, no, the chest, the chest. Sorry, the, the yellow is for the chest. I'm going to actually add it uh, here for the effect. So this effect is on a. Anytime you add it, add an effect, I would consider. I would suggest you to add it on a different layer. I just made a new layer, um, separate from everything else, and kind of like. Hey, Kuya, what's up? Anyone joining in? I'm I'm doing uh, decodes. Silver decodes. Okay, mine is kind of like a little different. Not an exact replica, but it's the same. Not 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 exact, but the same. <laughs> Good one, John. All right, so let's just add that in there. So from this point on, and also this is on a separate layer. Uh, any special effects, always do it on a separate layer. Um, okay, so now what I'll do, I'll show you my layers here on the right side. Um, so on top of your flats and under your effects, I'm gonna make a new layer. And uh, da, 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 da. okay, you you have multiple ways to go by this. You can paint manually, right? So just pick a color. Let me grab my. There you go. Uh, you could just pick a color and go to town. I'm also, you know what? I'll put it on the side instead. 
Here we go. Pick your local color and just paint. Just paint forehead, right? Or you can use um, layers. So I'm going to use layers because a lot of you, I feel like a lot of you should learn. So I'm going to go with the multiply. I'm multiply layer. And I'm going to keep it relatively gray, right? So I don't want my 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 shadows to be affected too, too much by a color. So what you'll do first is, uh, oh, if I had the rest of the character, um, the gradient would be so that it's darker at the bottom. And uh, you, you see how I have my colors on the left? That's how I would go with it. Like, like, like darker at the bottom of a gradient. And then as we go to the top, it's brighter and brighter, but also more contrasty. So you can still get pretty dark at the top, as you can see here for the head. The difference between the, ha the hair and the face, there's a huge contrast in there, and that's good. So anyways, I'm just gonna... Uh, you wanna be very simple with this. You don't wanna be too fancy. You just like cover some of the bigger areas. And the face has a little bit of a gradient too. And then the arms, like that. And the way, I mean, the more you know about form, the better you'll be at this, but pretty much you, you still want to keep it very, very simple in shape. You don't want to go like too crazy. You know how I was telling you about the um, shapes in the silhouette that you see here in, in, the, in this gray around the character? The same way you want to render, you want to keep it uh, graphical, you know, like you want to, you, you don't want to render too like smoothly. You want to add edge to it is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you do that, you add edge to it. All right. Um, so the hair would be the same. So first, this will be the first shadow pass. And then there's going to be a ambient occlusion pass, and then a light pass, and that's it. Zoomy! Welcome on in, Zoomy! I'm doing silver decodes, I'll get to you in a second. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hi everyone, thank you so much for the amazing, huge, big dick host. I'll get to you guys in a moment. I'm explaining. Um, honestly, just read the top. Whoa, sorry. Just read the top there and you'll know what I'm doing. Right now I'm answering a question. Um, so I'm going to continue. Yeah, so first, uh, first main shadows are now applied. The next step would be to... Um, Hope you had a good stream, by the way, Zoomy. The first, the next step would be to add ambient occlusion to sad shadows. So I'm going to make another layer, also set to multiply. And uh, you can even keep the same color or whatever. And now you're shaping the, um, like all the creases, all the like smaller details. Uh, again, once again, you keep all of it um, graphical. You don't want to go too too much in details with your shapes. It needs to be just like one, two, or three brush strokes, and you're you're good to go, right? Don't overcomplicate it. In fact, overcomplicating is um, consider it a sin. The more you overcomplicate, the worse it'll be. So you literally just want one, two brush strokes, and you you can go home. Right. There you go. Uh, I'm just looking for areas where I may have missed. Uh, we, we, and the next step will be the light, light area or, or light layer, the lighting layer. And we'll get to that in just a second too. Uh, of course, the face, the mouth, the eyes. I haven't really touched on that either. Uh, I don't know if he has his eyes closed on this one, or he's just like, because it's so small, it looks like they're closed, but... 
kind of looks cool with the eyes closed though. All right. Um, and let's go with that for now. The special effects will be the last thing we'll do, by the way. And those of you joining in, I'm answering this question, but I'm doing my own chroma to it just to show the same thing, but differently. So it's a bit more engaging to watch. Uh, oh, wait, I almost forgot. You need to add also the form shadows to, well, the shadows. So all of the like simple creases in his stomach where it's hidden in shadow and all that get to uh, get to have some def definition as well. Okay, cool. So now that's done, I'm making a new layer and I'm setting it to, uh, I, I want to say that he probably used an overlay, just the way it works, but it's either going to be an overlay or a hard light layer. Um, hello? How did I? Okay, I'll just, there you go. So right now it's an overlay layer um, and he's using a warm light and I believe a soft brush for this. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a overall overall glow like that, just to make sure that the top of my character is brighter. Again, we go back to what we were talking about earlier on. So I wanted to affect most of it, but not all of it. And I'm very careful with, like I'm not going in and like doing everything, right? I'm just kind of like selectively making a, um, I guess visually it would look like this, what I'm trying to think of. Like the radius of the intensity. So the forehead has the most intensity, right? Let me do it with light blue so you can see. So the, the in the center there, that's the most intensity and then kind of like radiance out is what I'm uh, what I'm uh, thinking thinking of. All right. Okay, and maybe some of it on the chest too, but that's the 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 special effect will will help with that as well. Um, and now you can also, if you want extra like subtle form, you can erase around the corners of things. You can erase the the gradient a little bit where you add it, just to add that extra. Like for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm, I'm erasing right now. I'm using the eraser. I'm just erasing the light away to give that just extra step of shadow and maybe give it like a bit a bit a bit of a gradient to the face too all right there you go again still with the eraser uh, and my i have a soft a soft round eraser too so give a little bit of that gradient to the hair back and it's pretty close. Um, we're not done yet. We're not done so yet. Um, now there's highlights. I'm gonna make a new layer. I don't know what he used here for the highlights, I'll be honest with you. I think he may have just used another overlay or it was even the same overlay. But um, I personally, I'm just gonna I made another overlay right now, and I'm just gonna add the highlights in the same areas where he added. And this is just a little detail. You're not gonna do a lot of this, to be honest. This is just like in the most focal point areas uh, where you want to have detail is where you're gonna do what I'm doing right now. Just like going with a small brush and like defining some of the hair strands and maybe like a little bit of the the chest too, like there you go, a highlight for the chest in there. Um, but it's like, you wanna be very 
scar like like, like you want to use barely anything right maybe just a little bit on the, a little bit on the nose a little bit on the eyes and um, of course I didn't spend time at all doing the line art so you'd want to care for that but at some point once you're done let's call this sort of like uh, actually not all of the steps are done well there's a special effect so the special effect is a layer above everything so I have this yellow shape in there right and I wanna uh, and I have a layer over this the special effects area and I'm gonna go with I think color dodge will work here well let's try so a darker color dodge uh, with the blue skin, maybe a purple would be better. Yeah. Yeah. And also maybe not a color dodge, actually, because it needs to be darker color around. So let's go with, uh, again, overlay. I guess overlay is very suited for this. So I'm just going to give it a, you know, there's a, a, a warm glow around the chest, but since he has blue skin, I'd much rather add like a purplish, like a warm purple, maybe even pink color around the chest. I am actually gonna, I'm adding a little too much, so I gotta be, but gotta be wary of that. All right, so once you have all of these, the final step that I would do is to paint over. Um, Paint over the 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 character. Where this is the line art, so I'm painting over the line art, like so. And you, this is the manual part where I mean everything is manual, but you, you know you know what I mean. Where you go around and you kill, clean up edges and like for example his face doesn't have line art at all, so I probably probably would be wise to get in there and uh, fix some of that you know so i'm just removing the line art by painting it over like so and the mouth you, we barely see the mouth the mouth too although like i would prefer to see the mouth a little bit more if it was me doing it but um work a little bit more on so that the nose comes out of the shape honestly i probably would zoom in in here if i was doing it but for the video for for the decodes it doesn't really matter that much um so yeah i'm just going around getting rid of any like unnecessary line art and then i would just keep the line art on the outside or re-line art it as well or again although it probably would be smarter to just do a good line art in the beginning so you don't have to like go back to it but everyone is different. Every artist is, is the, even for like, if you were to do an art test for, um, even if you were to do an art test for, for Riot, everyone is like, yes, you do have to follow some steps. It is true. But um, for the most part, you, you will do a thing or two or three, like different from everyone else, uh, to be honest. Like it's all that it's always the case. Um, like so, and um, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna outline my character better because it's it's very rough. So let me do exactly that. And work on the effects maybe just a little bit better too. So it like stands out some more. And again, it's just normal layer, nothing too crazy. Oh wait, you see his ear there. I almost didn't notice. So he actually has his ear right here. I'll add it now. It's not it's not too late. You know, and go back and any anything that needs some refinement or gradient, I go in there and and add that.
All right. I mean, the rest is just like, it, it's just time consuming. You know, just keep doing this. It's literally the same thing as I'm doing right now, but uh, everywhere else in the character. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to stop it here. So thank you once again, Damien, for uh, asking the question. Uh, I hope any of this was, um, was helpful. And um, I'll see you on the next Decodes.